Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and today we're revisiting one of the first spaces that I reviewed. My relationship with the camera is much different than it was back then, and I was much more uncomfortable, and you can definitely tell. I also didn't really do much playing versus what I do now in my current videos, so let's do some playing and check this base out in a little bit more detail, shall we? Let's do this. This is my Reverend Fellowship Michel and Degiocello signature bass, finished in a gorgeous pearl white. This is one of my favorite P-Basses for its very unique take on the P-Bass formula. So the Reverend Fellowship is featuring a Carina body, a five-piece Carina and walnut neck, as well as a rosewood fretboard. And this is a nice fretboard as well. It features some block inlays, a nice binding, and 21 frets. This bass is also featuring a P-Blade pickup, a stacked volume and tone knob, and a string through body construction. I appreciate the use of, I guess, somewhat exotic materials in this bass, as it only weighs 7.8 pounds, which is a lot less than a lot of other P basses. Now, in my initial review of this bass, I gave it four claws, and that's for a reason. This thing took the original P bass formula and turned it up a notch. It's lighter, it's using a different pickup design, and the overall aesthetics, I think, are really nice. But how does it sound? Well, let's check it out. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. This thing has some meat. So off the bat, this thing has some nice fat tone to it. So that was all played with the tone at 100%. Now let's turn that down to 50% and see what this sounds like. What I really like about the pots used is that they have the little notch at 50% for both the volume and the tone, so you know where the halfway mark is. I appreciate that. I love this thing. This thing is so much fun to play. The neck is really easy to navigate. It is not a P-Bass profile. It's definitely more of a jazz neck, but you definitely get a lot of that P-Bass thump. Now, let's turn down the tone all the way. This thing is fat. Now I'm going to turn the tone up to 50% and let's see how she slaps. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
this thing is a lot of fun. Now, bad news for people who are looking to buy one, I believe these have been discontinued. So if you're interested in grabbing one, keep an eye out on the used market because these are definitely great bases to have and are probably a great used value as well. So some final thoughts. In my original review, I did have flat wounds on this, but I did end up switching over to rounds and I do not regret that decision here. I also definitely stand by my four claw review that I gave this initially. This is a great base, a great value, and I mean, look at it. It's awesome. And it's definitely worthy of the Michel name on the headstock, or I guess behind it. Great job, Reverend. Keep it up. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Reverend Michel Indegio Cello Fellowship Signature Bass. And as always, until we groove again.